Strange, isn't it, in the world of the royals, how things come around and more or less, you know, everything, as Her Majesty the Queen very famously said, in the fullness of time, really does get its comeuppance. You know, there's no two ways about it. Whatever story you think, whatever happening that happened, well, seemingly then things change and not always uh, for the best for certain individuals. That truly could be said, of course, of the former royals, Harry and Meghan. They did wield quite a lot of power, you know, for quite a long time. Seemingly, you know, they felt that they were untouchable. They were literally departing this world famous family and they were going to take on the world and the world was going to listen, more importantly, to Meghan Markle's alleged people say waffle, speeches, whatever you want to call them. Nobody truly knew what she was ever on about. It really kicked off for me right from writing on those bananas. What was that about, you know? I mean, just nuts in a sense. Anybody else you think mad celebrity? For a budding royal at that point, you think, what are you doing, dearie? Now, it becomes really interesting, as I often say here on the show, simply because now Harry and Meghan are in a bit of a dilemma, and it's not exactly what you've been reading in the press. As ever, let me explain. It's been lovely to see you today on this bright, wonderful day. Well, cast over day in the very heart of Parliament. Another busy political day, as you can imagine, with a race to an election, all of that sort of stuff. You just kind of think, wow. You know, one thing I do feel sorry about, though, is that the current British Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Rishi Sunak, has been pulled apart for wearing trainers in a picture while meeting someone. And apparently he's devalued the brand because he's untrendy. Isn't that ageist? You know, just because somebody's in their 40s, they're not allowed to wear a certain brand. I mean, I know it's politics and I get all those stupidity behind it, but really it's just cruelness. You should be able to wear whatever you want at any age. And of course, I would suggest that he might have, in fact, uh, enlightened the brand to many people who no idea it existed. Yes, they never think about that, do they? It's always us that's to blame of an, uh, an age vintage. Let me give you a wave. You all right? Thank you so much for joining me today. Glad you agree with me. I get fed up of that stuff, don't you? It's ridiculous. Now, interesting story developing here because apparently His Majesty the King will be reaching out and offering an opportunity to Meghan Markle and, of course, his very difficult youngest son, Prince Harry, to visit this summer in Balmoral. It's an annual event, as we all know, and it's at the you know extreme invitation of His Majesty the King must be very tetchy when you think about it with Queen Camilla there as well. Not quite sure if he's staying in Balmoral or at his other home on the estate, Birkdale Hall, but either way, it's going to be up there. What's the true story behind that? Well, let me tell you this. While all these newspapers say always oh, going to offer an olive branch, all that nonsense, yes, there's an invite and it's definitely looming, but it comes with a bit of a, shall we say, um, how can I put this nicely? This is what I want. The bottom line is they have to bring both children. They have to bring both children if he wants to be seen. And they also, you know, you can understand this, and let me tell you this, this is from an excellent source, and you know who I know in that particular area. The bottom line is this, that you see, you know, His Majesty the King thinks, look, enough pussyfooting around. Why am I not allowed to see these grandchildren? If you want to see me, bring them along. Let's bat it out, all that sort of stuff. And he's literally fed up, as you can imagine, with the battle that he's been going on, on a personal level with his health. So for Harry and Meghan to tease, no, they won't come, Whatever. It's going to be interesting what excuse she gets out of it this time around because let's not forget she dumped the coronation because of apparently she was making a birthday cake. What an insult to a man who walked her down the aisle, you know, when you think about it. Stepped into the breach at the final hour. What a cruel thing to do to someone. But either way, whatever you've read, the Balmoral invitation this summer means the four of them and means the four. No excuses. No sort of, oh, sorry, she's suddenly ill. No, we're not bringing the children. This is a huge developing story. This is going to be fun to watch it unfold. Neil Shaw in Parliament, London.